Good morning, everybody. Today, I want to talk about something that uh, I have a problem with, and I think sometimes maybe some of us may have a problem with it. But today, uh, you know, it's like uh, it's like anything else. You know, something I want to say is, what is the dirtiest part of our body? What do we have that is the dirtiest part of our body? And, you know, we think about that a few minutes, and well, I would say our feet, our legs, our hands, our, you know, ears. What What is the dirtiest part of our body? Well, you know what? It's our tongue. We have to really think about what we say. Things that we say, that words come out of our mouths. We must be very, very, very careful. Because the tongue is something that is can actually hurt people's lives. It actually can ruin someone's life. A tongue, not only that, can actually hurt people to the extent of a gossip and words and things like that it can actually be detrimental to their health. So today we're going to look at James, verses 1 through 15. And it speaks about everybody's tongue. You know, not many of us, you know, many of us that go through life, you know, we, we have our times where... Have you been somewhere that you said something and maybe you thought maybe you shouldn't have said it? Have you been somewhere or in a conversation you say, I should not have said that? Have you been somewhere maybe or in a in, on the phone or uh, at a gathering or something and maybe there's things that you wanted to say that you didn't say? Well, the tongue is actually the dirtiest part of your body, believe it or not. Because you know... You will be judged more strictly a lot of times because of your tongue. And you know, uh, too, I do want to say this. In doing this, I'm no pastor. I'm no, uh, I am no uh, preacher. I'm not anybody, just someone preaching the word of the Lord. And by me doing this, uh, I sometimes will be under stricter guidelines because I'm speaking and sometimes will... People will listen to the word I say, and what I say comes from my heart and God. I am not, uh, and please just read your Bible, uh, and if I, something that you don't agree with, it's okay, it's understandable. Just go ahead and just read the Bible and make your own conclusion. Uh, because a lot of times I'm going to stumble. I'm not going to really have all the answers. You know, it's like... a. How can you how can you help your tongue? A lot of times people say to myself, well, there's ways that you can actually help your tongue. You know, a lot of people say, look at a ship. Look at the biggest ship in the water. There is one thing that they use to control that ship. It's the rudder. They control that rudder to control the ship. One little movement of that rudder can control that ship either way. It's the same as the tongue in your mouth. It's the words that come out of your mouth can actually cause trouble. And what I mean by that is, is be careful on what you say. That rudder is being controlled. You control that rudder to control the ship. The same thing as a horse. You put a bit in its mouth to control that 2,000 pound horse to go either left or right or stop or even uh, go forward. A lot of people can control a horse by just words. A lot of people can control a lot of things with just words. But words can cut. People don't really realize. But we're going to look at James today. We're going to look at chapter 3. We're going to look at the first verse. Not many of you should presume to be teachers. That's what I was saying earlier. My brothers, because you know... That who will teach will be judged more strictly. People like myself. You know, strict because words that come out of my mouth must be from the Holy Spirit and the Lord Jesus. We will all stumble in many ways. If anyone never in if anyone is never at fault in what he says, he is a perfect man, able to keep the whole body in check. And num verse number three, when we put bits into our mouths of horses to make them obey us, we can turn the whole animal. Or take ships, for an example. 
Although they are so large and are driven by strong winds, they are esteemed a very small rudder, can actually pilot them and tell them where to go. Likewise, the tongue is a small part of the body, but it can make great boasts. Consider what a great force is set on fire by a small spark. Consider, the tongue also is a fire, the world of evil, among parts of the body. It corrupts the whole person, sets the whole course of its life on fire, and, it, and itself set on fire to hell. Now you think about this a minute. Um, our tongue is very small. It can cause the most problems in someone's life. It can ruin someone's life. Your tongue is so hard, and you can actually praise someone, and they can actually feel better. But one word or two words of a tongue can actually make someone feel horrible. So we must be very, 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 very careful of what comes out of our mouth. And a lot of people don't really realize what comes out of your mouth is something that can not only, it can actually hurt, it can actually ruin someone's life. Have you ever been in an argument with someone and you said things you regretted saying? Have you ever been in an argument where you 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 maybe would tease someone or uh, said something about someone and maybe you shouldn't have said that? And a lot of times, how about in school where you call someone a name or you call them too fat or they're too thin or something like that? Have people have you done that? And I think as a as a child, I've done it. Even as an adult. Uh, even as an adult, I, I think if you really think about it, I know for me in my past, I know that I have hurt people with my tongue. I know I have. Did I feel horrible, horrible about it? Yes, I did. Did I go back to them and apologize? Sometimes I did. Sometimes I did not. Should I have? Yes. There are times I should have went back and apologized for my actions. Because a tongue, one word, can ruin a relationship. Can you sometimes bite your tongue? Can you be uncomfortable about talking about things? My tongue directs who we are in our life. Your tongue, imagine that horse. Imagine a, a, a ship. A, 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 a ship. As parents, words matter on what you say. Remember, if you say something in front of a child, a word, a statement about someone, say auntie, uncle, cousin, brother, neighbor, friend, that child listens to your tongue and that child mimics what you say. If you say something bad about that person and your child hears it, all of a sudden, they feel horrible about that person, too. Why? Because they're sponges, and they listen to every word you say. We have to be very careful around tongues of our children, our friends, our neighbors. How about in a, in a meeting, you say, well, I really don't like that guy anyway. All of a sudden, oh, I didn't know you liked the guy. I thought you liked the guy. And before you know it, that other guy don't like the guy, but he has his own opinion, but he's taking your opinion, and he's doing it because of that. So what you have to do, you have to be careful on what you say. It influences others. Whether or not you, you are influenced by someone, and, and you influence others yourself. People don't realize that you can influence others. And maybe you not realize you influence people, but you do. Everybody influences someone. Children, husband, wife, brother. Cousin, somebody. Kids will take it as words etched in stone. So what if you just say nothing? I think sometimes it's better to say nothing at all. It can destroy your life. A tongue can destroy your life in many ways. It can actually ruin your situation, your life. It's like, like I said, it's like a spark from a fire. It can troll thousands and thousands and thousands of acres. I mean, look what's going on in California. A fire started by a spark, lightning spark, or a party. They have two or three different sources how that fire started. 
But I know as a kid in Arizona, a fire started by someone at a campfire. A small match, got astray. Kids were playing, got astray. Burned up thousands and thousands and thousands of acres. People's homes got burned. People's houses got burned. But what if a tongue can do the same thing? A tongue can actually ruin your relationship, ruin your relationship with God, ruin your relationship with family, ruin your relationship with friends. Words can destroy what you have in your life. The tongue is the filthiest part of your body. It's like words can is like a chain reaction. We're going to look at Proverbs verse 21, chapter 21, verse 23. So today, he who guards his mouth and his tongue keeps himself from calamity. There's many verses in the Bible about the tongue. Many verses in the Bible. People can tame all animals of the earth, but yet they cannot cannot tame their tongue. Doesn't that make you think about something a minute? Can you actually help people by your tongue? You can. Can you hurt people by your tongue? You can. Hardest thing in the world is to keep your mouth shut. It is the hardest thing in the world. Your tongue displays on who you are as a person. Your tongue can tell you who you are. People don't really realize, but a tongue is something that is not only the dirtiest part of your body, but it can actually, 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 actually hurt, hurt you and people around you. You ever went to the doctor? doctor says, stick out your tongue. That's the first thing he's going to look at. He looks at your tongue, the very first thing. Stick out your tongue. They look at your tongue. They, they check the color. They check, they, they check, there's a lot of things they check. They check the color, they check the, the membranes on there, they make, uh, the, 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 the hairs, the follicles on the tongue, make sure it's the right, right color, the shape of the tongue, and things like that. Your mouth speaks what's in your heart. Your mouth will speak what's in your heart. Negative tongue is a negative heart. A positive tongue is a positive heart. A boastful tongue is a boastful heart. A filthy tongue is a filthy heart. A judgmental tongue is a judgmental heart. A gossip tongue is a gossiper. Is someone should not. Encouraging tongue is healthy and heart. God specializes in a new heart. He can actually give you a transplant today. All you got to do is receive a heart transplant from the Lord Heavenly Father. We're going to look at another verse here in Psalms 141.3. Set a guard over my mouth, O Lord. Keep what? Over the doors of my lips. What we have to do, we have to be guarded. We have to watch what we say, when we say it, how we say it. Let God have control of your heart. Let him take over what is in your heart. Let him new, put in a new heart, a new transplant. Actually, since I actually moved to the Philippines, one of the, one of the best things that actually happened to me, honestly, I do not understand the language. I cannot talk. My tongue has ceased. I can only talk to people who speak English. At a party... Is that helped me? It's helped me realize, even though I was in U.S. and I had good parties and I was around and things like that and other, I never really had any problem with, I did, uh, my tongue has been a problem, yes. I think everybody's tongue has been a problem. We say and write things in our mind at the moment. And it costs us uh, relationships, it costs us family, it costs us friends, it costs us a lot of things in our life. We have to watch our tongues. And Ruth and I made a, made, a, made a pledge to each other. We watch our tongues. Even though we want to say it, we watch our tongues. Because the tongue is spoken, and you hear it, and you make a decision to believe it or not. A tongue can cause you to go from happy to anger in two seconds. Let Jesus have control of your heart.
the quickest way. Prayer makes the difference. Prayer is the key. If you have prayer in your life, that matters a lot. If we look at Proverbs, and we look at verse chapter 21, verse 23. He who guards his mouth and his tongue keeps himself from calamity. Wow, that's a big statement. If you think about that, he who guards his mouth and his tongue keeps himself from calamity. How many times did your tongue get you in trouble in your life? Too many I can count on this hand, the fingers and toes in this house. It's because of anger, frustration, whatever. Tongue will get you in trouble. Tongue can cost you your job. A tongue can get you a job. Be careful what you say, and sometimes it's better not to say nothing, anything at all than to say something. If you can't say anything good, don't say it, right? That's what I tell all our, if you don't have anything good to say, don't say any words. Always say positive words. You say negative words, it becomes negative. Remember, tongue can help you. It can hurt you in life. In closing, Isaiah 66. In Isaiah 66 chapter, verse 18. And I, because of their actions and their imaginations, I am about to come and gather all nations and tongues, and they will come see my glory. Thy heavenly Father can replace your heart if it is negative, if, if it's a boastful tongue, it's if it's a gossip tongue. A gossip tongue would be someone that's a backbiter. You turn around, you say something, and it is positive, and all of a sudden they're saying something negative about you. Why would they do that? It's a negative heart, negative tongue, negative judgmental thinking. Why do they do that? I don't know, but people will do that. Don't be that person. Be an encouraging tongue, an encouraging heart, and a happy heart. If your heart and your tongue is happy, you will be happy, believe it or not. You will be. You will be. Guaranteed. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. If you have a tongue that is boastful, it's not good. What you have to do, you do have to make a decision of what kind of heart you have personally. I work on my tongue and my heart every day of my life. I'm not perfect. I know I'm a sinner. Am I worthy? I say this every day. I am worthy. I am worthy. Are you ready? Are you ready to be taken to the Holy Spirit? I just, I, I, I just want to uh, tell everybody, watch your tongue. Watch, watch your thought process. Watch what you write down on a piece of paper and watch what you, what you say because everybody is listening. You ever go somewhere and when you speak, everybody listens? Yeah. No matter. Sometimes I'm in a room and it could be one person, it could be 20 people in there. And if I speak, they're listening, no matter. And the reason they're listening is they want to know what I have to say. If it's an encouraging, a boastful, a filthy, judgmental tongue. They want to see what kind of tongue I have. And me being the type of person I am, I try to always have an encouraging tongue. But sometimes it may come out and it's not encouraging. But I really try to be encouraging tongue. But I know that I'm not perfect. And I have to watch and work on what I do and say. But I'm saying everybody out there today, I thought I'd do this message. Because so many, so many are so judgmental and backbiting and boastful and hurt and filthy and filthy tongue. And what do I mean filthy tongue? Bad words, cussing. This, that, this, that. Okay, cuss. Go ahead. Doesn't bother me. I just don't listen. You can choose to listen on a filthy heart, a happy heart. It's okay. But does not mean that I don't like that person because I do. Just because someone has a filthy heart does not mean that they're not likable and loving and caring person. Same thing on a backbiting. It's the same. 
Does that mean they're a bad person all the way, all the way through their whole body? No, that does not mean that. It's just their heart's in the wrong place at the moment. It can change tomorrow. You can have a heart transplant by Jesus Christ and change your whole life tomorrow. But I want to thank everybody for watching. This has been on for 20 minutes. And please, please, please pray. God bless everybody. And I want to thank everybody for taking the time to watch our videos. And thank you so much for Tom and Ruth here and, and, and our, weekly, uh, our weekly gospel reflection channel. And thank you. We, Ruth and I really appreciate it. God bless and thank you.